We have, oh, it's that time. It's that time, folks. Time. Episode 6, Crystals and Flames, coming your way. So, I'll, I'll just pass. Now, we are filming this, folks, so I'm just going to pass these presents over. Well, they're not presents to keep. Do I want to take it? They are presents from uh, Nat at Crystals and Flames uh, because I'm not allowed to touch them. <laughs> Not because I'm not worthy. Because you're evil. So. Is it, is it your, I thought it was more like superpowers. You know, so, you might charge them up, and there might be an explosion. So these like are in chemistry at high school. <laughs> Aura light twenty three. Oh, Aura light. Oh, Aura light like twenty three. It's like Christmas in here, folks, at the moment. That you can't yeah, see. there's a lot of oh, sticky tape. Wow, it's yes. an amethyst. It's, well, it's, it's all of those. It's all of Aura those light things. Is a blend, isn't it? So it says here, Auralite is an incredibly rare and powerful crystal. A billion years ago, oxygen started to appear in the atmosphere. Maybe still trying not to do this. Uh, develop. <laughs> and it's got all those things. Now, uh, there is so much. Uh, it's a powerful stone that can be used to manifestation practice, especially when working on releasing old limiting beliefs and patterns, mm. shifting consciousness and deep transformation work oh i might have to buy this one <laughs> <laughs> they're very nice aren't they yes so uh the stone is in fact composed of a mixture of amethyst mm. and 17 possible 23 such oh now this is like me reading a, <laughs> this is like me reading a soccer team uh titanite is that right? <laughs> Cox, Coke, Coke, Coca Cola, <laughs> Coca, Coca something. Tinnitus and Coca Cola. Le, le, leper, 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 <laughs> leper og, <laughs> ogite, hematite, <laughs> magnetite, okay pyrotite. I like that one. Pyrotite. <laughs> uh, here, you read them. I actually think it's pyrite. So, so, pyrite. Yes, so yes. The, uh, that's, Amy, so uh, from there, have a crack. And then tell us what they're all about. Hematite, magnetite, pyrite, gothite, pyrolustite, gold, silver, platinum, nickel, copper, iron. <laughs> I've got the easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You have held out uh, limonite, <laughs> sphalerite, covalite. Covalite. So they're all in this little rock. Helicopyright. I've never heard of that one no, before. Helicopter right. Helicopter right. Callow <laughs> copyright. There you go. Oh. So there's a new no, one. No, not really. So there's 17 but out of the 23 they reckon are in there. They haven't discovered the other. Gyalite, epidote, bornite, and rutile. Excellent. What, so is it, what does it all mean? The really Since interesting thing Since a collision of meteorites oh. struck amethyst deposits on earth which allowed the auralite 23 to begin to form it appears that not all minerals are from this planet no way come on <laughs> oh, i love it i love it <laughs> in this case the crystal is called red cap amethyst it looks like a regular amethyst but mm. a larger part of the crystal is coated in a mixture of hematites iron and bronze giving it a reddish brown color this type of crystal is highly in demand and is most likely what you will find in crystal and stone shops. Stevie's taking it to the camera now. To Auralite show. 23 is one of the most powerful crystals on this planet. It holds an incredibly high vibration, mainly due to all the energies that it holds from the different Earth and non-Earth. Excellent. And if you are beginning with crystals, or have difficulty staying grounded, you may find Auralite 23 a bit too intense. Ooh. That's wow. why I can't touch it. Well, <laughs> it, it does have a strong frequency. It, it really, this is, this is hang on, not, hang on, hang on. not for beginners, this one. Stevie, what did you just say? I said it does have a strong frequency. You it's can feel it's that. It's quite yeah. intense, isn't it? It is, isn't like, it? What, yeah. what, what's it doing to the buttons on your, on your machine? I don't know. I'm not looking at the buttons. Yeah. <laughs> wait, um, wait, Steve yeah. and I are like, really distracted. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I must explain to the listeners, um, if you are aware of crystals at all, you'll recognise that three 
three quarters of this, or maybe even 80% of this, just looks like a normal amethyst crystal. But on the top, it's got this wonderful coppery, goldy, yeah. sort of reddy sort of coating, which is obviously all the other stuff that these guys have yeah. been reading out for the last 10 minutes, um, which is just sort of like capped on the top. I did hold it up to the camera, so if you watch this online yeah, later, there. you'll be able to see this. Watch Amy's hand as I speak. I mean, there's zoom no one in. controlling the camera. <laughs> no, people you can zoom in on their own screen. Oh, zoom in yes, on their yeah. own yeah. screen. Oh, okay. yeah. That's why I'm holding still. <laughs> he thought there was a ghost camera operator. You know, oh, the yeah. text machine's going off. You're worried. Oh, it's my the God. modern age. We've got to talk to. We've got to talk but to Kate. Very, very nice. Well done. Yes, thank this you, is a lovely one. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Crystals and Flames. Thank you, Crystals uh, down and there flames. in Chelsea, go and see Nat. She'll look after you. Uh, the Vamps coming your way. Another one of those songs that's been sort of uh, mashed. Mashed. Yeah. <laughs> Tiny little straight out of the band.